Hi, myself Pratik and in this session we are going to discuss support vector machine classifier for non-linear data set. In last session we have discussed SVM for linearly separable data points. We have discussed a case of identifying apple and peaches into different classes. Here we have considered a binary classifier with two attributes x and y and for this we are able to identify a hyperplane which can linearly separate these two data points into different classes. But in most of the cases, the data point may not be linearly separable. The data points may be non-linearly separable. So if data points are non-linearly separable, which is a case of most of real world problems, we have something called as SVM kernel, which is based on the concept of moving the data points to higher dimensional space for finding a hyperplane for non-linearly separable data points. So what is this concept? We are going to discuss that in this session. As shown in this figure, you can identify that it is not possible to find out a linearly separable hyperplane which can classify this data set into different classes. It is only possible through a non-linear separable hyperplane. So how we can identify a hyperplane for such kind of data sets where it is not possible to identify it into different classes by having a linearly separable data points. So in order to handle such kind of cases, there is a concept of higher dimensional space. This concept of higher dimensional space is suggested by Vapnik who suggested creating a non-linear classifier by applying the kernel trick to maximum margin hyperplane. So this kernel trick is based on the data points plotted in a higher dimensional space. Here we are suggesting to move data points to higher dimensional space. Now let us consider the process of mapping to a higher dimensional space with this example. Here we have total nine data points, which has only one dimension X out of these nine points, these six points belong to one class, while these points belong to another class. So there are two classes. The middle of three points belong to class A, while these six points belong to class B. Here we wish to identify a hyperplane which can linearly separate these two classes. So let's suppose if we draw a hyperplane at this point, still this is not a correct hyperplane because because on left side we have data points of single class but while on right side we have data points of both the classes. So this is not a correct hyperplane to separate this data set into two classes. Now let us consider this as a hyperplane and again you can clearly see that on right side you have only one class while on left side again we have mixing of both the classes. So this is again not a correct hyperplane. Actually, this is a case of non-linear data set and here this hyperplane can only classify these data points into different classes. By mapping these data points to higher dimensional, we can find out a linearly separable data points. In order to understand that, let us apply a function f on this data point. This f function subtract 5 from x. So let's first subtract 5 from these data points. So when we subtract 5 from these data points, it will shift to left as shown here. After subtracting 5, this f function says to scare these values. So let's scare these values. So when you scare these values, you can see that this one dimensional data points is converted to two dimensional space. And after converting this one dimensional data points to two dimensional space, we can clearly identify a hyperplane which linearly separate these data points into two classes. Similarly, to find out a hyperplane for this two dimensional data points, we can move these 2D data points to three dimensional space by applying a mapping function. You can see that after application of this mapping function, it is converted to three dimensions, having dimensions as X1, X2 and Z. And when we apply this three dimensional data space, you can see that one can identify a hyperplane which can separate these into different classes. And of course, we can project back this three dimensional space 
to two dimensional space to identify the hyperplane. This mapping of data points to higher dimensional space and then back to lower dimensional space is a highly compute intensive task. And the alternative to this is a kernel function. So we have something called as Gaussian RBF kernel function. RBF stands for radial basis function kernel, which can be applied to identify a hyperplane for nonlinear data set. So how this RBF function help us to identify a hyperplane for nonlinear data set. We will discuss that in next video. Thanks for watching this video.